Our cardiovascular system is built out of a heart and vascular system. The heart is a beating organ pumping blood throughout our body, supplying it with oxygen and nutrients. The arterial vessels need to be elastic to carry on the blood to all tissues and cells in our body. Our blood consists of red blood cells transporting the oxygen, white blood cells as defense system, and blood platelets for clotting support. Nearly the other half consists of blood plasma containing all the nutrients necessary to feed our cells. In case there is not sufficient vitamin K in the vessel wall, part of the MGP remains inactive and is secreted by the vascular smooth muscle cells as a non-functional protein. This inactive MGP is not able to protect the shedding membrane particles. Calcium and phosphate can nucleate to calcium crystals in these cell membranes and form the first nidus of vascular calcification. Next, these small calcium crystals from an attractive surface may nucleate and bind more calcium phosphate crystals, creating bigger calcification spots within the vessel wall. The form of calcium in phosphate is hydroxyapatite, which is the same form of calcium as in bone tissue. One of these essential nutrients is vitamin K, needed to activate vitamin K-dependent proteins throughout our body. MenaQ7 is, in contrast to dietary K1, highly bioavailable and bioactive in the vascular tissue. When arriving in the arterial vessel wall, MenaQ7 is crossing the cell membrane of the vascular smooth muscle cells. Vitamin K2 acts in the cell as an activator of matrix GLA protein. MGP undergoes a conformation change due to MenaQ7 and becomes active. The active conformation can bind to negatively charged phospholipids in the cell membrane. The function of MGP is locally in the vessel wall by protecting cell membrane particles from calcification, possibly by covering them. The vitamin K dependent MGP is known to be the strongest inhibitor of arterial calcification. As the extracellular fluid is oversaturated with calcium and phosphate, the body needs these natural inhibitors to prevent unwanted calcification. In this way, MenaQ7 plays a role in the inhibition of vascular calcification. The cellular remnants can be eaten by macrophages, the natural cleaners within the vessel wall, and the vessel wall stays in healthy condition. The process of calcification is actively regulated by cells and proteins and so is the blocking and regression of arterial calcification. Thus, vascular calcification is not an end-stage process. It can be stopped and may even be regressed. When calcifications are present, MGP is present in the inactive, unable to prevent the crystal growth mode. Supplementation with natural MenaQ7 will reach the vessel wall and the vascular smooth muscle cells. In these cells, the newly formed MGP is activated. The MGP activated by MenaQ7 will be secreted by the vascular smooth muscle cells and released into the extracellular matrix. Here, it will find and bind the calcium crystal structures. This is because it has a high affinity for these structures. When sufficient MenaQ7 is present, active MGP will be released in sufficiently active quantities. It will bind and cover these structures, leading to a broad protection for further crystal growth. When activated MGP binds to calcium crystals, it will form a natural defense for further crystal growth, thereby blocking this process. Calcium and phosphate will not be able to bind to the hydroxyapatite structures in the vasculature. In this way, natural MenaQ7 via activation of MGP regulates the calcification process. Finally, macrophages will be able to find the target signals and phagocytose and remove the arterial calcifications leading to a significant reduction and regression of vascular calcification.